What's up everyone? I am the Kaiju no Kami and this is my quick review for Knives Out. This video is brought to you by Loot Crate. Do you like cool mystery boxes that are full of cool stuff? Go to LootCrate.com slash Kaiju no Kami and put Kaiju no Kami in the coupon code to receive 10% off your order. It helps you help me help you help me. Remember, LootCrate.com slash Kaiju no Kami, coupon code Kaiju no Kami. Now to our video. Knives Out is the latest whodunit type film of murder mystery that was done by Ryan Johnson, the guy who gave us such crap movie like The Looper, and then gave us Star Wars Last Jedi, which a lot of people absolutely hated. Probably because it didn't follow the mythology they wanted to follow. Not that the movie was free of flaws, as it was not exactly the greatest Star Wars movie, but it's not like it did anything bad that the other movies hadn't already done that was bad. Well, whatever the case may be, we have Knives Out here, which was a fantastic movie. One of the best murder mystery movies we have had in a long time. It was engaging, it was entertaining, it was fun, it was suspenseful when it needed to be. There were aspects that I didn't see coming along, but then granted there were other aspects where I was like, well, this is going to happen and... This is going to be what that is. And that's going to happen like that. And it did play out that. So there are some predictable moments. But that just might be because we are in an age where whodunit movies have been done to death. So we have seen everything done. Except I don't think we've seen some of the stuff that happens in this movie done before. Because there was a few things I'm like, oh my god, really? We're seeing that now? <gasps> Oh wow, okay, so where's this gonna go with that happening? The music was great, all the actors did an incredible job, Tony Collette was phenomenal as this like airheaded blonde type lady who's just like, you're famous, wow. Mike Shannon was Mike Shannon. It was great to see Chris Evans do something that's totally against the Captain America character. That was a really nice surprise and enjoyable. He does a great job at playing a douchebag. Jamie Lee Curtis played a really great sympathetic character that was also an asshole at times, but it still came off that there were aspects where you're like, wow, I actually kind of feel sorry for her because that's screwing her over, that's screwing her over, that, oh wait, she brought that upon herself. She, yeah, she deserved that one. Well, that one sucks. Up, oh, she deserved that one too. She had a perfect balance so you could kind of see where her things were going and feel sorry for her at the same time where pretty much everyone else was just a total jackass. And everything that occurred to each member was rightly so. It was also great to see Lockheed Stanfield in a movie that did not suck. I mean, granted, he was in Get Out, and that movie was also phenomenal, but then he went on and did Death Notes. And he did a few other movies that were kind of garbage. So getting to see him do a good job here was awesome. Of course, the standout actor from this movie is hands down Daniel Craig. He was the standout for me in Logan Lucky when he played the Southern Redneck, and he just continues to do a great job here. I really feel like he is having so much fun playing this character because it's out of his element. He's not playing a British spy. He's not playing some British spy, and he's definitely not playing some British criminal spy. Kudos to Daniel Craig, you are definitely the star of this show. Overall, I've really got nothing else I can add into this movie without diving into spoilers, and I don't want to do that. So, I'm going to end with saying that I'm going to give Knives Out a solid 9 out of 10 stars. Have you seen Knives Out? What did you think of it? What is your favorite murder mystery whodunit movie? Whatever the case, let me know in the comments below. Click like, click subscribe, click the bell notification, click whatever else YouTube has you clicking on to support me. You can support me on Patreon at Kaiju no Kami, Twitter at Kaiju no Kami, Facebook Kaiju no Kami, and my website creativitybydesignllc.com. Until next time, bye.